Hi, I'm Jason, former Mac Genius, here to go over some Apple OS X tips and tricks with you. And today, uh, we are going to look at how to change system colors and fonts on your Mac. Um, so let's get to it. The system fonts and colors, um, the system fonts and colors are found in your system preferences, which can be accessed under system preferences here or in the dock down there. And what we're going to do is this divided into four panes, your preferences, personal, hardware, internet, and network, system, and other. And for this, we're going to be accessing our appearance settings. And our appearance here, you've got two different um, options. You have blue and graphite. Uh, and that's basically kind of the look and feel of the Apple Macintosh operating system. And your highlight colors for when you highlight stuff are here. So if you were to go into, let's open a window and give you, so see you've got, you see you have gold there. If we were to switch this to green, our highlight color would now be green. And this also happens when you, when you go to name something, it'll highlight that color as well in green. Minimize when double clicking a window or title bar. That is, if you click on the title bar up top, it will minimize down into your dock. And the button up in the corner, the middle one here with a minus sign, also does the same thing. Um, and as far as recent items, this panel here controls how many items you have up in your Apple menu, recent items. So under applications and documents and servers, we can see a number of items here. And what this panel does is it tells us how many items to store in that. So if we were to say five, and we go up here to our recent items, it's only going to show us our last five applications that we've accessed. And for this area, turn off text smoothing for font sizes. Um, this preset is pretty much eight, and that's fine to leave it at that. Um, that's kind of consistent with the graphics card and your monitor settings, which, we are, which are up here. Hi, I'm Jason, and thank you for joining me for how to change your fonts and colors in Mac OS X.